I couldn't resist. <laughs> Welcome back to Team Fat Kids Choose the Fat. This is Thursday's Party Cast. I'm Jason. This is Alex. This is Dennis. This is Dylan. <laughs> Why was that so hard to get out? I feel like we ended Monday so well, and now, like, just trying to say all that didn't work. <laughs> but I was Even like, you trying to open that Jason, beer was Jason. a little difficult. It was the little ticks. The little ticks, yeah. The little ticks. I, 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 I couldn't help it. Man. Man. I couldn't help it. Man. All right, so. It's because um, of the beer. We're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna do a little roulette. Uh, scribe, you have your paperwork, sir. Um, ready, go ready. I was uh, so I was watching. Uh, by the way, let's take a moment. Betty White. Betty White. Let's take a moment. Pour some out for my homies. Literally, we're good. A month. <laughs> literally a month. Well, no, 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 no. seventeen days. Seventeen days. But at the same time. Like the one, one, the like one person did the math and everything. She lived through twenty four leap years, so yeah. she actually then, lived to be a hundred plus seven days. So she, yeah. she, she made it. I've seen so many memes about that shit. Like, uh, like that she had the best timing in the world. Though, if you think about it, <clears throat> most fucking damn t- toast in her name and everything on her death day. Yeah, right. New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, fuck, new, fuck this new year. We're doing this one for Betty. Betty. <laughs> that sucks. It, I've seen so many things. It was like. Uh, uh, this one was Betty White left uh, left us at the end of 2021 because she wanted for the better of the entire human human race for the rest of eternity. It was like basically like die at the end of 2021 for the rest of humanity or live on and let the shit keep going. <laughs> Like, there have been so many fucking memes about Betty White so far. Uh, anybody watch Comic Book Man? Uh, the Rob Bruce died. Yeah, yeah they found his body yesterday. Who? Rob Bruce, uh, pop culturist. Uh, if you ever watch Comic Book Man, you, he was the guy they would always call in, like, whenever they had, like... Kevin high, Smith. Yeah, high, high, yeah. High to get okay. uh, items and everything like that, trying right. to get, like, expert analysis. It was, like, Pawn, for our Pawn Stars, they bring in their experts and everything. They bring in Rob Bruce and everything. Yeah, they found him in the uh, sword shed. Because like I said, that's where he, uh, his what office was. Fuck. Yeah, I'm with you. It's weird. Okay. What do you got? Is this a beer? <laughs> right? I'm really hoping it's an alcoholic root beer. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, I'm going to go I... with uh, malt liquor, root well, beer. Uh, it's God. It's not good. I'm a, It's four point eight percent. It's got zero IBUs, and I'm gonna give it a two. Tastes like somebody farted in my mouth. Not that I know what that tastes like, but I'm not something. gonna call it that. Stone. I'm not because there are. So I I brought over. He <clears throat> brought over stones that he hasn't had before, just yeah. so he could fucking. Win his three thousand. I me. don't care right. what you're not gonna call it. What are you gonna call? I'm it? I'm like cream soda IPA. I'm gonna say. Oh god, that is not. It good. is cream soda IPA. Is not a their nice. green tea IPA. Japanese green tea IPA. You're fucking crazy. If you think that tastes like green tea, you're fucking nuts. Go ahead, continue. All right, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm not gonna say it's the stone because. Oh, you are gonna it. say it's green tea IPA. <laughs> I'm gonna say oh, green god. tea IPA. Calm down, that killer. Is such a I mean, distinct flavor. <laughs> I like how you said that like three times, but you finished it. Like I got I still got a guess. Has, I need to know. Has. You can has the whole thing when we're done. Okay. Yeah, you can. You can enjoy that. Um, unenjoyable beverage. I'll. That's what I'm gonna call it. Six point five ABV. Um, IBUs. I'll say it's around a ten. And I actually do give that a four. Like it's. Uh, I went with cream soda IPA, fucking four point five and zero IBUs and a two. Also has a like a popcorn flavor. Uh, yeah, right, popcorn. Um, I'm gonna call it a seltzer, but it ain't that sweet corn fucking soda bullshit. It that we've could had. be. <laughs> it, it, no, that shit was yellow. It could be a soda. <laughs> that shit was yellow though. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we still. Have yeah, there's still a couple in there. It could be a soda, um, but I'm gonna call it a seltzer, uh, like four point five. I'm trying to nail a flavor, but I can't because it's not good. Um, in, uh, uh, zero IBU. Uh, I, I give it a two for effort. Um, 
the man, I wanna I wanna point a flavor at it, but I can't because I I just can't. I'm just gonna call it a seltzer. Okay. That's everybody right? That's everybody? Yeah. I got, okay. no, I got so, nothing else, man. That was not good. Da, 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 da. It is bacon soda. Oh, really? Uh, really? Lester's Fixins bacon Jeez. soda. Oh. Have, uh, we, had, I, have I, we had a good one of those? No. 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 Yes. Is that the game? Like, is well, You <laughs> thought they were good. Uh, like, the fucking Julie little... wants more. Here you go. Like, That's <laughs> all you, buddy boy. Oh, hey, hey, why is it hey, so? By the way, you could you, um, you could just no. I just, I just, I, now I'm trying to find bacon. Being the bacon people, right? You would think that <laughs> we would all be like, "Fuck yeah, this shit." No, we're like delicious. we like bacon, no, not good. artificially you, flavored fake bacon soda. Now yeah. that I, now that oh, I know yeah, it's yeah. bacon and you smell it, yeah, you bacon it, soda. It, it smells like the bacon's. Like the bacon bits, like the oh, soy product. Yeah. It's why, soy bacon. Why does this, <laughs> the aftertaste have like a popcorny? <clears throat> yeah, like a popcorn. Take, uh, yeah, you can just take that. Like a popcorn fucking flavor to it. Like, ah, give me beer, give me beer. Now that, I, now that I know, it, it tastes like bacon bits, like bacon's. Like the the very first soy product brought to you in the United States was bacon's. <laughs> Sure, it wasn't soy After sauce. After kind of chugging uh-huh. down a little sure, bit. Sure, it wasn't soy sauce. Mm-hmm. Well, because I don't like. Other soy <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Are, are oh, we, is, I, thought, I thought that was Chase. Is, am he, I be? He he is kind of in route. Okay, well, in route. Um, save that. Let's just let's go ahead. Like, Sa- yeah, yeah, save that. Sure. That's we'll just, just, yeah. just make that right there. Right, Hang right next to the electronics. <coughs> yeah, let's put it there. Yeah. Mm. Did, you almost dumped your cup over trying to fill it. Yeah. In front of the heater, you've got eat, great. Eat, eat it the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe it's better. Maybe, maybe it's better hot. Right. I mean, it's bacon just like is better hot. bacon, right? Yeah, you gotta have hot bacon soda. Mm. And when you keep saying bacon soda, bacon, <laughs> bacon soda, soda, I got yeah. bacon soda. Is that Arm and Hammer? Mm. Mm. That is good stuff. More like foot and shovel. <laughs> mm. What? 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 It seriously like the very like front taste of it. Definitely, to me, tastes like fucking green tea. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No. To me, it did. I don't know okay. why. It's drink not. Tea every morning. We also drink that bullshit fucking tea. What's that shit called? Uh, the Kabuka. fermented... Kabuka. Kabuka. You drink Kumbuka? that, too. Yeah, that shit's nasty. I haven't had that in a while. So. You were drinking that shit all the fucking time, and, like, you want some? Like, I'll try it. And, like, <laughs> that, that is <laughs> fucking nasty. It tastes like vinegar. Fermented, <laughs> fermented tea. Tastes yeah. like toilet ring water. <laughs> 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 that muck. Uh, oh god, that was Jason's. So, Jason's mid laugh wretch there. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a second for me to remember like it happening to me. Like, the flavor. So there's some radioactive foods in the world. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, bananas, for instance. Uh, Dooley, you're gonna have to put down that Google. I said, Dooley, calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like me to say? Radioactive, uh, radioactive, <laughs> radioactive foods. So uh, it's because of the potassium that's in them, I guess. And like, like, so bananas, spinach, white beans, Brazil. salmon. Oh, nuts. Yeah, Brazil nuts, Avocado butter beans. Beer? <laughs> We're gonna die from radiation poisoning. Fuck I'm fine yeah. with it. I mean, come on, potatoes are number four. I'm be fucked. sure Noble is <laughs> We're just I'm the, fucked. The vodka and the beer. You can't do this to us. <laughs> yeah, just get more cookies. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex, I'm gonna need you to scrub this when we're done. <laughs> uh, well, nuts. if it would load, I, I was hoping there would be more information. But just all right, Brazil nuts, butter beans, bananas, potatoes, carrots, red meat, beer, avocados. Water, what? peanut butter. What is PCI? Because I mean, I know what gamma is, and like, like, because that's like what you use, like a Geiger yeah. counter to detect. But salmon, apricots, avocados uh, for all you avocado toast aficionados. Nope, that's not it. I'll tell you that now. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, not. yogurt and uh, Dennis, you're safe from mushrooms. Um, those all carry. Uh, those are the most radioactive foods. Type um, in what is, uh, just add like radiology or yeah, something. radioactivity or anything dealing with radiation. There you go. Work. So what's the... Prophylactic cranial irradiation. Prophylactic? No. 
Yeah, hit the next one. The people also ask. Let's try that one. <laughs> yeah, all right. So Let's see, I don't think that's it either because it's... It's lowercase p, yeah, capital that's not, C. That's, a, that's like a... Well, I did put fucking Jeez. that in there. You got it, Alex? I got it. Alex is going to Google on his phone because Dooley just can't. Can't even. <laughs> I literally just put it in like... A PCI is the measure of the rate of radio decay of radon. One P- PCI is one trillionth of a Curie... You know what? There's, good good there's, measurements. Good measurements. There's here. lots of more descriptions of what the fuck that is, <laughs> and I, none of them mean shit to me. So. Anyway, so what I what I gathered in in my searches is that it's the breakdown of potassium yeah. that that causes the radiation, and obviously foods that have more potassium in it. When the potassium breaks down, they become radioactive. Obviously, not enough to kill you, but if you eat enough bananas, they will kill you. <laughs> Sounds about right. Monkeys. <laughs> Yes, okay. Yeah, just, just monkeys. Well, I don't, well why, why are monkeys not fucking dead then? Because like, they don't fucking eat bananas, bananas, bro. Yeah, they do. When you, give them to, when you give them to them in the fucking zoo, <laughs> they don't just search out bananas for <laughs> all their food. It's not the only fucking thing they eat, dude. They eat other monkeys. They eat the and lice, birds. I'm and just saying, the everyone is like, monkey, banana. So, uh, That's racist. So I was, uh... <laughs> you were? You were what? I was doing more research into food. Yes. Yeah. That's kind of like my thing. Um, did you know that back in the day before the FDA, uh, foods were not so safe to eat? No, they were And not. so, uh, this is a good one. Curried calves brains. Were okay. passed off as butter. That sounds about right. Yeah. Curry, what? Calves brains. Okay. Calf, I'm just calf, like oh, a baby cow. C A L. Well, that works. <laughs> yeah. He got the singular, not the pearl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it was, like, and again, like they were putting formaldehyde in milk, like yeah. it, to make it shelf stable. Shelf stable, so it didn't have to be refrigerated. Yeah. Like so, this is. Yeah, dude, but at you, the same time, you didn't have to, if you didn't pasteurize it, you'd get a shelf stable. <laughs> Louis L. Pasteur. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, so that's just. That's like uh, before ketchup and everything. It was fucking. It was uh, funny, mushrooms and shit like that. Funny you bring up ketchup. Little Heinz. Heinz. Little Heinz. <laughs> so, uh, Campbell's and Heinz were like in an epic fucking battle. Let's do a beer while, we, while I give you useless information that I know. Um. <laughs> The foods that build America. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, did you watch it? I watched what I can watch of it. Like, yeah. So, uh, Campbell's, like, they were in a battle with Heinz for soups. Yeah. To, still to this day. But Campbell's reeled back their shit and they were like, we're just going to do soup. And what made uh, Campbell's so successful is because they weren't shipping water. Uh, <clears throat> that is a seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> or it's another, it's another it's another uh, what is Lick, it water the, yeah um, so Campbell's reeled back in they stopped like you know making like canned vegetables they just went to soup and so the problem with soup is that America didn't eat soup um, it was more of a French thing so more fanciest so what had happened was they condensed soup so when you got it home, it was easier to package it with smaller cans because they didn't put the water in it. And so the condensed soup, and then when you got it home, you just added one can of hot water to the soup and stirred it up, and it was supposedly delicious. That was the chemist in Campbell's. The flavor sucked. So the actual uh, co-owner of Campbell's went to France and worked under French chefs for, like, years to learn how to fucking make good soup. And then he came back to America and then made good condensed soup where you just had to add water to it. And then that didn't work. So then they went back to Paris. It, it was like a World's Fair in 1900. It was 1900 World's Fair, I got this. It was not called a World's Fair at that point in time. It was like an expose or whatever. And that's why the gold emblem on... Every 
condensed Campbell soup can is because they fucking won the soup competition with canned soup in France. <laughs> The I'm sorry. more you fucking know. How long do you hold on to that, though? It's been more than 100 years. you got to let that go. Yeah, but th- th- they, then they rebrand it and put their metal on the can, and they, that's when they changed it to a red and white label so it would pop on the shelf, and then they were out selling fucking Heinz. But then Heinz came out with condensed soup, yeah. and then Campbell's turned around because Heinz was fucking crushing the fucking baked beans game, mm-hmm. and then Campbell's came out with... Pork and beans. Yeah, pork and beans. And, like, they were out selling fucking Heinz by, like, fucking, like, what was it, like, $7 million a year yeah. in beans. Like, sorry. I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> I'm out on this one. Oh, you know what it is? Unfortunately. It tastes exactly what I'm thinking it is. kind of hard to miss. It's the Mountain Dew gingerbread. Damn it, Dooley! I didn't do it! Fucking shit. Every time with you. Push the door all the way closed. Yeah, you don't have to turn a doorknob to close a door, dude. A spring. You just close it. It's literally (laughs) almost pretty much all the way closed. Is it snowing? Yeah, pretty much all the way closed. Not close. Is it snowing outside? It's getting there. Um, What's up? I know. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Is that Kip? Mm hmm. You pointing? Cross street. Never. Oh. That's what I'm pointing. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a seltzer. It's a. It's not a seltzer. I just burped up seltzer. <laughs> so clearly you're going with a seltzer. I think it's a marshmallow. Mm-hmm. What do you guys got? Seltzer. I need, I need somebody to go. It smells like that Bud Light Christmas seltzer shit. It is probably it most likely one of those. Or one of the finals? No. Oh, getting, is it? Well, I'm getting more. I'm going Mountain Dew gingerbread soda. Honestly, I'm thinking that eggnog shit. But then again, everyone hated that. And I was the only person that liked it. I think Dennis liked it I too. But. There's a fruit note in there. Apple pie. No. Sh- sugar plum? Orange zest. Something. There's a... There's a, there's a, there's a Raspberry tart. Could be crazy. Could, Could, be be cras- Could be crasberry. Could be crasberry. Crasberries. Marscapone cheese. Um, <laughs> y'all go. Shit. <clears throat> Schnozberry. I'm a, I'll say <laughs> sugar plum. Schnozberry tastes like schnozberries. <laughs> sugar plum seltzer at like five percent zero IBU. Number four. I like all those. What the fuck is a sugar plum? I don't know, but last time we tried that shit, it, it was like, in your head. <laughs> 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 like I, I was, I'm trying to nail down the flavor, but I'm just gonna go seltzer again. Uh, four point. <laughs> I'm a you basic white bitch. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> it's a white claw. Uh, <laughs> uh, no law. I, I will say. Claw. I will say it is a Bud Light seltzer. How about that? Um, That's calling a brand name. Yep. And <laughs> I will say it's a. I don't know what those seltzers run. I'm five. Five? Five sounds That's good. That's like all seltzers. Yeah, five. Five percent. Uh, I'll give it uh, zero IBU, obviously, and then um, like a, like a and two and a half. It's and not and great. No and I don't... <laughs> no and then! I can't... <laughs> no and then. I couldn't drink that. Like, a whole one. Like, what you gave me was enough. I could. <laughs> it's called chugging. Yeah. <laughs> did well, you know? I... Did you know that plants butt chug water? <laughs> 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 I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like, I don't know if it's right, but you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's that Will Smith meme fucking from uh, Fresh Prince Beller? He, he's got the spirit, but <laughs> well, he, he's got the right idea, but not the right mindset about it. It's your guess, Dooley. Yeah, bitch, we're waiting on you. Oh, oh, no, I don't it. They want sugar plum. Oh, so sugar oh plum. that was legitimate. That's yeah. right. Okay, so that was a real plum. Alex? Oh, I He said he can't know. go because he knows. Uh, Unfortunately. Can't go because you know. All right, so. Is it a ghost? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bud Light Seltzer's Ooh. Maple Pear. I knew there was. So it's Canadian. There. Uh, it is 5%. It's with, Canadian. You know, maybe we should start guessing calories. It's 100 just in case anyone wants Let's to add know. a new line. How many calories in this bitch? 
It's gluten free. Is this from Wendy's? I do not. <laughs> I do not have uh, IBUs and Dooley's. Or it's a seltzer. They never Dooley's have clearly not li- looking it up. And yeah, I'm we're just sure going to go with it zero because every seltzer. Damn! How many points did I just get there? Two. Three thousand. He called the brewery. That's true. Yeah. Three thousand points. You know the flavor though. See, if I do that, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get the flavor, but I knew there was fruit. If I do that, it has to be exactly everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's commissioner. He makes everything up. So. Yeah, well, no, the points really matter. <laughs> but you're writing everything down. <laughs> did like, you, whoa, did you write down 3,002? 3,002 while you're bullshitting. Well, he said you got two points, but then it's 3,000 for calling it, so. I mean, I'll just take, I don't the, like I'll you. Just take the three, I'll just take the three grand. I don't need the extra two. Okay. I'll give those two points. That's charitable. I'll give those two points to you. Oh, commissioner got two. Well, <laughs> not commissioner. You, I'm assuming you're giving it a scribe. No, I'm giving it to you. Oh, Commissioner gets two free points, sir. I like this kickback. Just, kick, just like so kick anybody back. can beat Dooley. I, I like the kickback, yeah, you know? Here's your two points. I got 3,000. Uh, I'm good. I'm good over here. Like, are you seriously going to look up zero IVs right now? No, no, no. This one. Oh, what is that? Oh, Bud Light shit. Seltzer Sour? Oh, the producer is going to fucking love this shit, but she doesn't like Bud Light, so she's going to have a crossroad. <laughs> <laughs> so just don't tell her. Like, she can't read? Like... Have it, have it happen during the game. Can she see? can't see cans when she sits over there just like everybody else. Just be like, yo, you're going to like this, babe. Try When are you coming out? By the way, back on the uh, the Campbell Soup thing real fast. Like, do you realize they sell 2.5 billion cans of soup yeah. a year? I mean, well, when I, whenever it's not the holidays, it's I mean, when I for smoke, $10. So. Like, to Progresso or Campbell. Progresso what? Used- what, re- so when, when when I smoke, like, uh, you just want soup. Yeah. You're you're fuck, you're like the producer. You're Progresso fucking or fucking Campbell. Like that sounds horrible. Chunky. Well, Chunky. they're not saying when. <laughs> Why do people eat tamales on the holidays? They eat the fuck out of tamales on the holidays. I fucking I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't make tamales. Yep. Like like when did that become a thing? Is it like is heels? I don't, like, I, I got one. Uh, so I got one, we have one lady, she made, she made a bunch of tamales and everything. Uh, she did carne asada ones, uh, carnitas, and I forget what the other ones, but she brought them in, brought some of for us at, at wood shop and everything. So Good. what you're saying is you got tamales and you didn't share with the I class? Share, I didn't share with my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like, didn't have enough like, onion in it anyway. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> valid point. <laughs> valid, valid point on that. Well, they're not seventeen. Did they make onion, onion tamales? Because <laughs> that's her shit, <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm just, pretty... just give me a blooming onion and a burrito. It's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without the <laughs> without the frying of the onion, just give it that. No, I, I think she'd go for the fried. Pretty sure she go for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go for that. Just dump the sauce in there. Yeah. Google onion Mrs. burrito. Mrs. Buttersworth. Fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles syrup. Ugh. Is that a, is that a legitimate thing? Or was that just like a meme? No, that's fucking real, dude. So, oh. uh, I didn't even have to search that. Fucking <laughs> this is real. Is it? Do they have other flavors, or is it that's, just that's, fruity pebbles? That's the one, dude. That's the shit. One. Fucking three dollars for this shit. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. Do you put that on your fruity pebbles? I think you put that on pancakes, pancakes yeah, or, or French toast. How much do you think they had to pay for the uh, or your Bloody Mary <coughs> Flintstones for, for the, the Flintstones fruity pebbles like, logo? Fred, Fred Flintstone. How long? Did post, they, how much yeah. did you think they paid for that? It's a good question. But it's well, it's by post, yeah. so I don't know. It's not the original Aunt Jemima, but. Well, that's Angel Mama, not Mrs. Butterworth. No, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of other things. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Jeez, racist. Dooley. <laughs> Why? Just fucking... So Alex and Wrong I... Wrong syrup, lady! <laughs> so Alex and I wasted like an hour and a half of our life watching them un- o- uh, unopen. Unearth and open? Yes, there the you go. The time capsule? Yes, the time, the, the time capsule uh, from underneath the Robert E. Lee statue. Oh, they did find it? Yeah, they found it. Uh, it took them a long time to get it open. Dude, it, that was... It, it was a really... I just love how, like... they have, I was so invested. I love how they have, like, six people whose job is to get shit out of this box. And you could literally tell when someone was like, 
Oh, this looks hard. I'm not. Mm-mm. Nope. Somebody else make this decision. Like I don't. Yeah, like, I don't mind doing it. I'm just not going to be the re- one responsible for making the decision to do it. It's like me working on Chase's car. Yeah. Like <laughs> I will drill this shit out, but you have to tell me to drill this shit out because it's your car. Like <laughs> I feel like I definitely would have just been like, move. I got it. Mm-hmm. Like they had to cut the box. Although they they had to ask like four people. Yeah, because, before they cut because the box. the box is as important as the contents. <coughs> oh, shit. oh god, I'm sorry, I'm allergic. But there, but there stupid was, statements. They uh, never they uh, never showed us the lid. No, was there no lid? I'm pretty sure it was, but it, it didn't agree with her. Well, what I mean, ide- ideology. Come on, it's just as important as the rest of the box. It has to be. But when they put the, when they when they scotch tape the fucking box. bag shut. They did, dude. It was like horrific. But anyway, they didn't put the lid in the bag with the box. Like I think my favorite was how <clears throat> they were definitely trying to be careful with gloves and like making sure that they weren't touching anything. And then at one point, the lady picked something up to show to the camera, and definitely no gloves. No gloves. It was just like, yeah, this is. And I, I wonder if she realized it. They definitely robbed the cafeteria for all the trays. Oh yeah. Like, Somebody on cafeteria staff was like, God damn it, where's all the trays? <laughs> People need to eat. There's no trays. And like they put like each individual piece like on a tray with like parchment paper. I'm assuming. And, and we can't figure out why they had people standing around and no one figured out like, hey, I should just put parchment paper on these trays. Yeah, it's like stack trays, man. Like, like room service, man. Like, like preset <laughs> trays. They'd be Give like, them I a need stack a tray. of trays. They need trays. And like, they pull like say. they pull like a little piece of paper out. And like, I need a tray. And like, someone has to prepare a tray to bring to them. And like, bring a fucking chef from a fucking hotel. Room they're, service. They're, <laughs> in, they're in a college. They've obviously already robbed the cafeteria for all the trays. <laughs> and, oh, and the cinematography department. Yes, yes, because they definitely stole their cart because it literally said like photography <laughs> the photography department on the cart. And, like, they, yeah, dude, like, photography brought their camera equipment down to video the unveiling of the capsule. We have decided, though, that uh, the audio team must have been on Christmas vacation. Yeah, because there was shitty audio. But yeah. <laughs> They and like whoever did production, like they had they had cameramen, but they had no production. Yeah, like yeah, uh, there, they there couldn't was, switch there was between cameramen. camera views. Yeah, they couldn't. Yeah, the cameramen were in the way of the camera. <laughs> it's like you guys suck at this. Like, Dooley could have did better. <sighs> Dooley's editing would have been better, but it was live. It was live. It was, and it took up like two hours of our life. We. We and you spend... left. You left before the end. I did. Uh, and, and Chase left right like thirty seconds before the end. And but I was so invested into this fucking time castle because we, I, I started watching it on the food truck. Yeah. And I, then we came back and did dishes, and I was still watching. watching it like on my phone. And then we turned it on the TV. Yeah. Chase was like, "Why don't you just cast it to the TV?" And I was like, "That's smart." I did leave, <laughs> I so did we can leave. all watch it. That's good. <laughs> I did leave after they emptied the box. Yes, because they showed the box, the empty box, which you couldn't see in the box the entire fucking time. It, it was, was like whatever camera angle they she thought was filming was not what, like the one dude that has the camera that's live is like trying to walk around and get a view and she like twists it away from yeah, him. Yeah, as soon as he like moved into like let's see what's in the box and she like turns it away from the <laughs> camera like no. You're doing this shit only, on purpose. Only <laughs> me. Only I can see the inside of this box. And like but it's it's a time capsule it's for everyone. What do what do you what do you what is this? What did you google? Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon has a time capsule. Uh-huh. Yeah. They're going to open it on April 30th, 2042. And apparently Walt Disney has one, too. It's going to be the end of the fucking world. It's going to be Walt Disney just like, Ta-da! <laughs> I'm, I'm still here, bitches! Actually, did y'all hear that? Uh, I will research. Uh, research, whatever. Will? <clears throat> you. You type. Um, the Walt Disney uh, cryo freeze thing. Oh. You know, where he's still frozen? It was his head. Just his head? Yeah. I don't believe that's real. Because I saw a lot of stuff that was like, they're going to thaw him out. Yeah, false claims. <laughs> Thawed in December. Like, I don't see that, like, 
They still haven't found a cure for cancer, so it's not like... <laughs> like, I've only seen one thing, like, the one girl that was, like, in Canada, and, like, she was outside, and she was frozen, and, like, she was resuscitated, but that was only after, like... Like an hour. No, it was, like... 20 minutes. I think it was, like, four days. And they thawed her out, and she was still fine, but... I really think there would be brain damage involved in that. Yeah. No, apparently she didn't have any brain damage or anything, but... Like, don't look at me. I'd have to look this one up. Yeah, like the I, I'm cr- surprised you're not on your phone already. <laughs> <laughs> fingers are cold. Like, I've seen like uh, the whole Sit like on them. it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not playing like, with myself down here. There's a reason my hands are in my crotch. <laughs> I've seen a couple things where they're talking the about like stranger. It's like <laughs> a couple things where they're basically saying like you know what like the they hell? kept Walt Disney in a cryogenic freezer after he. Like, literally, like, a few months before he died, they put him in there. I was like, didn't he die in, like, the 50s? Yeah. Yeah, and he Did- bought up all the land under different, for D- Disney World, he bought up all the land under uh, pseudonames, so... The government they didn't know that. Oh, so the the people wouldn't raise the prices That's because they knew, they knew Disney was buying the land. We're so in some they, chase they territory create, Yeah, they, they created shell companies. This is real. They created shit. It's not... It is real. Yeah. They created shell companies to buy land to open businesses from, like, farmers and shit. And as yeah. soon as they found out it was Disney, the price went up, like, fucking three times. And like, they have their own government, like Disney does. I'm sure. They own so well, I know, much land. I know they have their own police force, pretty much. Like, they still have to call in, I think, uh, the fire department or something. Like, I'm pretty they sure they still probably. They have their own, but, like, if there's a fire, they still how, call in I mean, city. not how funny oh. would it would be, but... Kind of how funny it would be, like, you know, wee, and then some fucking dudes with fucking, bee doo, bee doo, fucking, bee doo. <laughs> fucking Minnie Mouse fucking helmets. Like, they got a helmet, and then the Minnie Mouse ears just like, like put this fire out. Like, you haven't, <laughs> hey, you haven't lived till you've been stopped by a police officer with a fucking damn badge in the shape of Minnie <laughs> Mouse. Sorry, the despicable with me is not Disney, right? Or no, the, the thing that's made Pixar? by Disney. That's is that Pixar? Uh, I think it's Pixar. No, it's uh, DreamWorks. DreamWorks, that one. Yeah, so I don't Bidu, know Bidu, Bidu is probably yeah, already <laughs> the taken. Minions. Oh, it is fucking snowing. Look at it. Look at it go. That's not tiny either. That's no, that's, big, that's big flakes. Pretty yeah, big snow. Won't stick. And yeah, Bidu, Bidu, Bidu. That, that'd be fucking amazing. I don't know. Like a I bunch of like, like, like every all the firemen are dressed like minions. I feel like you got to go with like the French ambulance. Oh. <laughs> There's like at least two or three fucking damn ambulances right here that actually do have like the London fucking damn really sound system. I'm like, what the fuck? You're like, oh, I've, yeah, I've seen one of them. I don't know. You hear it uh, whenever you're, they're going over to Princess Anne, so it's like, what the? Am I watching a fucking damn Bond movie right now? Like, what the no. hell? <laughs> they're they're driving Teslas. <laughs> right. Like, they got like the. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if my phone is listening, but I love how the very first thing when I type in your like Your I didn't phone even get, is definitely listening. I didn't even case. get through Europe. Okay, I didn't even get through Europe. And it said European ambulance siren. That's the first thing that fucking popped up. So, so hey, let's just check it out real quick. No, that's an ad. No one gives a fuck about an ad. I like foghorn sounds. Fucking like creepy. ship foghorns? Foghorn leghorn. Oh. I said, boy. <laughs> I said, I said, I said. I said, I said. Why does he sound like he should be the fucking sponsor for Kentucky Fried Chicken? Or LSU's head coach? Oh, you got it? I got it. And we're going we're gonna to get we're gonna get some good ones. Uh, I'm talking about actual fall horns, like. Uh, no, these are too normal. These are too normal. Where's yeah. the good ones? Yeah. Where's the good ones? There you go. That's not bad. Still too normal. Come on. No. Nope. Sounds New like York. sounds like we're in New York. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, in New York. we have yep. not had any freedom today. Is it because of cold weather? Probably. But I feel like these. This is good training weather. Those yeah. thousand degree fucking engines can't survive this little yeah, bit of snow. It, 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 <laughs> like, well, well we have to ask the too. Air Force guy because they don't work in inclement weather. But. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually hoping on like actual knowledge instead of a fucking joke right there. I was like, wait, 
So yeah, how do they no, my ass would be digging a fucking hole right now. <laughs> <laughs> the, ground, the ground's frozen, Sarge. Yeah, keep fucking digging. Dig harder. Oh, I got this little ass shovel. Like, <laughs> just lay on the ground. It'll be fine. They like, give you the plastic fucking. But it's light. white outside, and I'm wearing green. <laughs> like, right, right. Just give me the plastic <laughs> little fucking shovel for for like kids, just like. Oh uh, yeah. What the? Yeah, fuck? yeah, like you're supposed to be like at the beach, like. Yeah. Fossey, this is normal sauce for you. Fuck you! Oh, <laughs> damn, dude, hit the fucking button. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has a metal shovel, you're just sitting there. This is bullshit right now. <laughs> it's, it's come in the desert, dude. <laughs> Man, we ain't found shit. <laughs> Now, where's my sandcastle bucket? All right. <laughs> so, how do you feel about the fucking, uh, the propaganda that Starbucks is doing on the, uh... That bucket's not for sandcastles. Don't pay it forward <laughs> shit. What? I get why they want to do that. Well, yes, but, I mean, it's it's straight up fucking propaganda. Yeah. By Starbucks. And the whole pay it forward thing is like, uh, I'm gonna pay for... The person behind, behind me is drink. Yeah. And At the same time, they're going to pay for it anyway. So it's yeah, like, but, like, you know, they're saying that the employees don't get tipped. The employees get tips, but, yeah. If, yeah. Well, if they if, get my name right. I like the... <laughs> was, yeah, Dooley. Don't oh, spell D- D-U-O-O-L-O-Y-E. <laughs> oh, dude, they, they spell shit fucked up all the time, and it's on purpose. <laughs> you can't spell the word cat when you spot them with C and a T. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Katniss. <laughs> so, like... K U L O N T. I mean, I don't. N E S. I don't go to Starbucks. I mean, I'll buy coffee at Seven Eleven. I think if they're going to focus on ending a promotion, it should be like the twelve item specialty. Like, stop creating your own shit that takes twenty minutes. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I would focus on. The the twenty minute order. Yeah, my one my. uh, Frap no whip. Triple shot espresso. Triple shot espresso with. Fucking cat balls in it, and then like, give me a I need, shot I of need coffee. Almond soy milk. I, is that a thing? Yeah. I don't know if that's a thing. That um, milk, I, I, is that two separate like things? Thing. Almond milk and soy milk. Is that? Oh, that's two different things. Two different things. Well, I, I want, want both. I want, I want almond I want soy milk. Almond milk in my drink, but I want a soy whip. And make sure it is uh, <laughs> white. Same time. The like fuck do you mean fifteen white? dollars for a fucking cup of coffee? But you bitch about the I had I had a boss. I had a boss. Actually, it was Chef Mike. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. He he. He was like, oh, yeah, dude. And I was like, my first time in Starbucks. He's like, you never been here before? And I was like, no. <laughs> it's probably my last time, too. Absolutely fucking not. And he was like, what do you want? And I was like, I'll have what you're having. And he got like a soy fucking what the fuck ever. Did you still and up? He gave me coffee. And I was like, this is horrible, dude. Like, it's gross. Yeah. And then we opened a restaurant right next to a Starbucks. And then we would go to Starbucks. And he would get his whatever, and I would like, can coffee. I just get coffee? And then I would dump like some of it off into the trash, so that I could add cream and sugar. I and mean, they gave you a full cup of coffee. But then he was like, "Yo, dude, you gotta ask room for cream." And I was like, "Oh, I did not know that was a fucking thing." Because <laughs> uh, can I just I, get a bigger cup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, so then I was like, "Yes, yeah, so I'll have a vente coffee, room for cream." So don't. Fill it all the way to the fucking top. Then, why is it venti? They Venti's made that 20. word up. No, venti is no, twenty in Italian. Yeah, that's the only Italian well, fucking uh, wait, 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 wait. word because no, they actually have twenty work. ounces. Yeah, but yeah, it's I not guess. a twenty ounce coffee. Well, I'm st- well, it's twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a venti. Ounce. That'll be twenty. Mm-hmm. Twenty minutes, twenty bucks, twenty, <laughs> twenty, everything. Just... One time I went there, uh, the ex girlfriend wanted, yeah. Everybody? Uh, I'm yep. good. <clears throat> the uh, ex-girlfriend good. wanted uh, fucking... She gave me a grocery list of what she wanted in her coffee. And <laughs> at, least, at least she wrote it down for you. Uh, right? yeah, she wrote it down. I just gave it to the fucking dude. And he was like, okay. And he was like, uh, is there anything you want? I'm like, just give me a fucking thing of black coffee. Like, I, I just drink black coffee. I don't drink fucking... Let me get a fucking soy moyo latte with a little bit of sprinkles in there from a unicorn's asshole. I don't yeah, do. It's fucking really. <laughs> so like, I just 
Damn. We're getting snowed in at the <laughs> T-Fag Airport. I ain't going to work tomorrow. <coughs> um, we got a fucking half inch of snow. Give me a minute. I got to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not doing it. That's not happening. But the... Uh, you can hear the kids outside. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kids. Is it kids. okay? It's kids. Did anyone it's... check on it? The kids? Oh, yeah. Those. Yeah. Did anyone check on it? No. Is it still alive? Oh. Me. <laughs> you can still hear it. It's alive. It's freaking out about snow. That's only going to happen for t- right now. When the, when the screaming stops, you can worry. <laughs> but like, I, I'm just like, just, just give me a fucking black coffee. And he was like, "What size?" I'm like, "Fuck it, t- medium." And he's like, "Too uh, tall." Or like, grande. Uh, well, do you want a grande or do you want a? And I'm like, medium. Just whatever is in the middle of your biggest and your smallest cup, just give me that fucking cup. And he was like, "Are you at all?" I like, yeah, I love so, how they have to make that difficult. Yeah. Like, dude, fucking, you have three sizes, right? So that's small, medium, large. I don't care how you fucking name yeah. it. Yeah, fucking small, medium, grande, large, tall. bro. And like, I was just like, J- that one. And he's like, "It's a grande." I'm like, "Yeah, fucking grande black coffee. Fucking just give me that shit." And then her grocery list of a fucking thing. And, like, her shit had, like, fucking whipped cream and fucking all this other shit in there. Fucking unicorn sparkles. Like, all this other stupid shit. And she's like, you didn't get anything special in yours? I'm like... Oh, dude, I love the fucking app these days. Because I, like, I don't go to Starbucks. I like And coffee. I don't... I'm like, you. you. Give me the list. Like, it's usually a text message. Yeah. And you're looking down while you're ordering. Like, yeah, I need... Uh, hold, this is... This is going to take me a minute. Hold on. And like, it's not even coffee now point. it's beautiful because it's like they just order on the app and they just Take run inside. Yeah, like no. Kelsey. Yeah, cool. All right. Later. <clears throat> and he's looking at me like Kelsey. You're fucking. Uh, mm-hmm. you, so like, yeah, you don't, she you don't brought like me. She, she told me to come. Don't here. you judge but, my gender? <clears throat> yeah, there's right. Kelsey grammar, <laughs> right? But like, it's it still blows my mind that how many people like. I don't go to Starbucks ever. Like, I would rather go to fucking Dunkin' Donuts, go through their fucking drive-through, and be like. Black Americano medium. Thank you. <laughs> See, I it. like Starbucks, but that's because I don't like coffee. And they yeah. put enough sugar in their shit that I don't taste coffee, but I don't go to Starbucks. Java you don't taste the caffeine, you feel the sugar rush. The Frappuccino? Oh, uh, yeah. The Java chip one? Yeah. Like, they usually I'll, go caramel. Like, if, if they had a simpler, just black mm-hmm. coffee, two cubes of fucking sugar, and a creamer, throw the bitch in there. Why do you need that for your coffee? I'm saying if that were to be the thing, like me do, I'd like drink black coffee. Like I, drink I, black too, so I don't like, drink. Sh- I don't have anything in there. Just it's straight black coffee. I'm, I'm, I'm well. Jason knows whenever I come over here on uh, early days, which is uh, once in a blue moon. It's like, what do you want in your coffee? Dennis will drink Duck fucking coffee. Death Wish black. black yeah. yeah, I do too. Like I, I can't do that. See, I don't. Like I don't, when we went to, a I don't prefer district. straight black coffee. I prefer like gay Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> My coffee needs to have a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit of fiesta. If I'm going to put anything in my coffee, it's going to be fucking Jameson. It's like... <laughs> well, the only reason why I drink black coffee... I think coffee... that qualifies under a little bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> the, the PBR coffees are good. Oh, yes, they are. Very good. <laughs> you can get more of them. Like, I'll, I'll drink either black coffee or <laughs> mocha iced coffee from fucking 7-Eleven. <laughs> That's fucking it. And I'll get a... Fucking large. I try not to make coffee for Alex because it makes him poop. And in the food truck, that's a bad place to be. Yeah, yeah, uh, y'all, 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 don't just, y'all don't have RV toilet access. No. So. He's, like, he's like, I gotta go. But we're in the middle. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to shit right here? No. I'll see you in a little bit. No, dude, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, like, I'm like, like comes back, he's like, I'm not done. I was just making sure everything was okay. Gotta go again. <laughs> So you make coffee for me like, did you take your poopy pills today? Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Everything's quiet on the truck and then you just hear... <laughs> What's that? Nothing. It's going to be something in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It is crop dust at the whole truck. Like, <laughs> Walk outside, hold your ass. <laughs> just singing songs on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> The songs of my people. <laughs> Every time you take steps, like... <laughs> if it's sounding like a duck and you're whispering, fuck diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. Dooley, random topic. I kind of want coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you closed the tab. I did. Oh, All right. 
What's that one? I don't know. What is it? Ten most dangerous foods for humans. Let's see all of it, because I'm tired of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started, let's also uh, do a beverage, and we'll... We probably need new cups. Yeah. <laughs> After that shit. <clears throat> Well, you can get started while I pour. Yeah, this could, isn't, it, could, it, could it be? This isn't going to be quick. Could it be the ranch? <laughs> the ranch, though, is still floating around in there somewhere. Don't say uh, that. <laughs> but I like the ranch. So well, you just put it on, just dip your pizza in it, it's fine. Uh, it's called, Some it's American called. shit just like, oh, I can't have any ranch because the cook. Well, it certainly there. would be a great idea to scare people away from eating nutritious foods that can be with the better health. Yeah, let's just scroll down. Yeah. We'll get to it. Oh, the first one was. What? Yes, your rhubarb pie is delicious. It is dangerous. I've never had rhubarb. Why is it dangerous? Can we close this cookie setting? What, like, no. There you go. I'm definitely gonna need Alex to scrub this co- fucking computer after this is over. He, ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes. Why sense. the fuck do we have so many cookies? Dooley. Yeah. That makes. We don't even bake cookies. Well, the last time I baked cookies, they were of the edibles, and. <laughs> I did a really good job. So this vegetable is <laughs> Sorry. probably not one you will find in the fridge all the time, but it's popular with some folks who enjoy making things like jams, jellies, and desserts like strawberry rhubarb mm-hmm. pie. What's mm-hmm. tricky about rhubarb is that only the stalks are safe to eat. The leaves have a chemical known as oxalic acid in them, which is used to make things like bleach and rust removers, which gives you an idea of how potent it can be. As might be expected, interesting or ingesting this stuff can cause burning in the mouth and throat. And if you eat enough, it can cause vomiting, convulsions, and even death. So how do they, they find out how to... Let's like put this the, in bleach. No, that's what they use to make bleach. Well, I'm saying, like... But at the same time, it's also, like, motherfucking figuring out how it, t- it takes 17 times to boil out fucking them, all the poison out of a soybean. <clears throat> hey, scroll down. The bitch of soybeans coming up. Eggs? No. My... <laughs> Cherries. Oh, mm. yeah, really? I knew about this one, actually. Uh, I believe it's cyanide. It's, 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 uh, yeah, I think it's a seed, it's though, seed, right? Yeah. Who doesn't love cherries? Well, some people don't probably mm. don't care for them, but those that do, it's important to avoid eating the pits. They are extremely hard and more likely to break the teeth of people that try to crack them by biting on them. So what's the problem, then? It's the inside of the pit, which can contain a substance that turns into cyanide when it's crushed. The same is true for peaches, apricots, and plums. The key is to avoid eating any pits that have been broken open. Swallowing a cherry pit whole probably won't cause any problems, so don't worry too much if you do that accidentally. Yeah, so just don't, or do, crush them up to make cyanide. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> I mean, if that's, you know. Team Tekka does in, not support, condone, or endorse. End of the, 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 the world scenarios, that's what I'm talking about. And like, you know, just get you a bunch of cherries or apricots or plums and... Okay, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to read too much into this one. Uh, this one's puffer fish, uh, different than a blowfish. It is a Japanese delicacy where uh, there are poisonous parts of the fish, and only specialized chefs are, uh, I guess, allowed By to law. to cut them uh, so that they do not pierce the sack and introduce poison. You never want to pierce the sack, right? <laughs> Ever. Ever. You pierce that sack, you just all gone. Hit that button, Dooley. I'm pretty sure there's a piercing people that could probably uh, also handle a puffer fish. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll do this one more, and then we'll do the beer. Uh, I'm assuming this is Aki. Uh, this is probably one that few of us have heard about. It comes from West Africa, and it is relative to the better-known lychee fruit, oh. which is lychee. used in... Lychee. lychee. We've had that. Uh, which is used in Asian cuisine. Once aki is fully ripe, it should be no problem to eat, but eating it before that time may expose you to a poison that can kill. It's reported to have killed 23 people and sickened almost 200 more in Jamaica in 2011, but if you are still hankering to try it, it can be purchased in some locations, frozen or canned. No, I'm good. I mean, I'll do it. All right, beer. I'll try it. Ze beer. Gingerbread. Yeah. Ale. Yeah, that's really good call. Gingerbread ale? 5.2. Wow, I'm like, you nailed that. 16. <laughs> yeah. God, why uh, do they make this shit? No, you, yeah, you just ginger snacks. Uh, two, all and, two and a half. <laughs> that's not great. 
I'm not usually a big fall beer person. They don't really turn out well, well for me. Like, like the spiced this. beers. Pumpkin nah, ale. Not a huge fan. Pumpkin, Pumpkin ale. Pumpkin ale. That's also well. 5%, That's... 19, and I give it a 4. Those are both really good fucking guesses. I'm going to say pumpkin ale. I'm going to go with pumpkin ale. Cyanide ale. <laughs> Fuck! All right, Cherry last, pit ale. This is the last <laughs> podcast, so... <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think, <laughs> I think it's a ghost cherry pit ale, because uh, once you drink it, you ghost. It's, in, it's, it's <laughs> salty and sour. <laughs> it's like a Sour Patch kid. But First they're uh, sweet, but then they're deadly. Say pumpkin ale, fucking... 5.5%. Twenty IBU, and I give that a fucking two because that's. Ha. Um, yeah, I'm gonna IBU. also. I'm gonna say a pumpkin spice ale. Ooh, fancy me. Um, it's got those warm notes in there. I'm feeling a little clove and whatnots, but uh. Better you warm myself. The, uh, I'll I'll give it a six percent on the ABV and. Uh, IBU, uh, shit, I don't know, man. I'll give it a 10. 10 sounds reasonable. Uh, I don't, I'm not a fan of pumpkin ales, uh, but I'll give it a 3. That is everybody. So, oh. da, da, da. this is from Ooh. the Garage Brewing. Brewing. Is it carrot? It is, I'm assuming, carrot cake ale. We're going to have to look it up exactly, but it is their carrot. I don't know if it's an ale. It's carrot cake. Yep. Nope. That's not. No oh, shit. Yep. yep. Try, try the right brewery. Garage. Garage. No carrot all. Oh, good name. Come on. <laughs> it has a really good name. We'll get there. All right. Seven. It is a spiced or herbed beer. Uh... Probably an ale just by the name, but not sure. Lactose provides about my Nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger. You were there with the ginger, and anyway. you had you had. Would you say ginger? Gingerbread, gingerbread. Ginger uh, but it's seven percent ABV and seventeen IBUs. I think I was a point under on yeah, that one, and yeah. Dennis came in at nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give yourself a point for that. Fuck it. The the producer is a big fan of. All the boss ladies. I'll tell you some more of that because that shit was good as fuck. No, there's I, a big ass. Wait a minute. What did I tell you to give me a point? I gave it one under. Give me a point. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. You guys get three. It's closest without going over. Yeah. Right. Even yeah. if I got it completely correct, I'd still be zero. I still have three thousand. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get. You can give yourself each ten. Ten. Ten each. <laughs> and I'm still at zero. Mm-hmm. All right. So. So uh, the commissioner has uh, thirteen points. Uh, <laughs> Go back to the uh, 10 Most Dangerous Foods. Yes. Number five is... Is that a tick? No. Oh. That's a castor seed oh. because it's castor oil. Well, didn't they used to give that to people? Yeah. Any big fan of the hit television series Breaking Bad would probably know that castor beans can be used to make a ricin, uh, a particularly potent poison. In fact, one single castor bean contains enough ricin to kill more than 1,000 people, although castor oil is normally prepared properly and does not contain any poison. Normally. Be cautious of manufacturers that do not have a proven track record of producing a safe product. One little slip up when working with castor beans could easily end up being fatal. What the fuck is castor oil? What did what they used to give it to people by the spoonful? Yeah, to make you throw up. Is that what it? It's pretty much like syrup of epicac. And it's vomiting, I guess. <laughs> That's weird. Elderberries. <laughs> Ooh, your mother smelled of elderberries. <laughs> no, Isn't I mean, that too much. I felt I felt Harry Potterish there for a <laughs> no. second. Like, no, I, I did Monty watch Python. all the movies. Nope, that's Monty Isn't Python. That uh, uh, that's Monty Python there, bro. Your mother smells of the elderberries. Is that what deers eat a lot, or is that? Uh, you know, I'm not a deer. Juniper. Couldn't tell you. Uh, <laughs> I have no do idea. Do you hang out with deer? <laughs> I, I mean, I. I mean, it do do. Did, did did they poop elderberries? Did deers eat fruit like that? I don't know, but it do do. <laughs> it do do. You know what you call It'd a be like blind that. deer? Huh? You know what you call a blind deer? Uh, hit by a car? No. No idea. Oh. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> that's, okay. that's, that's, the right. that's, that's the dad joke. Right. That, that's Alex's I'm train right there. That's my speed. That's my speed. I love it. Uh. 
Back to the elderberries. Uh, <laughs> although people are probably spending less time looking for things to eat outdoors than in years past, there are still quite a few folks that enjoy foraging in wooded areas for treats like blueberries, raspberries, and other edible things that grow in the wild. How did Honeysuckle not make that list? Right. Uh, although many people are familiar with elderberry jam or <laughs> <laughs> even elderberry wine, it's important to know that the cooking process or processing uh, elderberries first is what makes them safe to eat. It's not a good idea to pick them up in the wild and simply eat them since they contain glycosides, glycosides uh, that can turn into cyanide when they are ingested. As always, it's important to stick with eating things in the wild that you are absolutely sure about and not taking chances of something that looks like it might be tasty or bears a resemblance to something you know is safe to eat. Do you smell almonds? No, Just but your for... mother smells of elderberries. <laughs> <laughs> smells like Damn, almonds in here. Love cyanide. So anyway, yeah, green baby. <laughs> uh, the next one is Thank wild you, almonds. Thank you, Dennis, for getting that. Uh huh. <laughs> Speaking of things that are wild, here's something that's good to know for people that have this growing in their area. Wild almonds contain cyanide, which is definitely something you don't want to be snacking on in the wild or anywhere else. These almonds require processing to neutralize the poison in them before they can be eaten. A few, uh, uh, as few as five to. Ten wild almonds can kill a child, and 50 or so are likely to be fatal to an adult. Damn, Rachel, you like cyanide. Who the fuck eats 50 almonds? Well, I guess uh, if you're really vegans. hungry. Lima <laughs> beans! <laughs> Valid point, Dooley. <laughs> no. Damn, lima beans? Smart kids. Lima beans may be one of those things that most people either love or hate, with the haters probably outnumbering the lovers by a wide margin. While they may be healthy when cooked properly, these beans are not the type you would want to be eating fresh out of the garden. Prior to being properly cooked, lima beans contain something called... Linamarin. Oh, sorry, I had to lean over to see that. Uh, <laughs> linamarin, linamarin, which yeah. may not sound all that bad. I'm going to go with linamarin. It doesn't sound as bad. Uh, linamarin, which may not sound all that bad until you find out it turns into hydrogen cyanide after it is eaten. That sounds great. The word cyanide is all you should uh, <laughs> need to hear to know that this is something you should stay far away from. Dan, it's you love cyanide. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's natural. Right. It's, it's like weed. It's natural. Nutmeg. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, oh, really dude, I about. told you that story about the fucking bartender just fucking eating, eating them. them. Yeah. Yep. All right. So there are those of us who find it hard to imagine indulging in a little traditional holiday eggnog without sprinkling a bit of nutmeg on top. And that's perfectly okay. And it's not a treat to your... And it's not a... I think that's supposed to be threat, threat. to yeah. your health. Uh what you need to watch out for is enjoying nutmeg a little too much. In large quantities, this stuff is toxic and can result in a condition known as myristicin poisoning. That sounds good. Which, in some cases, can lead to death. Again, using it to spice up eggnog or a batch of cookies is no big deal, but avoid consuming it by the spoonful. That may sound stupid, but if you've ever heard of cinnamon challenge, you know that stupid sometimes happens. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> Uh huh. Bad five. Fucking dude. Got that him. fucking bartender was fucking eating like just whole them. like like they were walnuts. Like he was just popping it. Like every time he walked back to get like whatever he was getting. Oh, because he was working raw bar, so he was going back to the cooler to get fucking yeah. more seafood. And he would walk by, and they just had him sitting in the fucking window, and he was just grabbing one and popping it. He's like, these are delicious. And I was like, how many of those have you shit, had, dude? Mm-hmm. Like, how many have you had? Like, I don't know. And I was like. Yeah, stop. Just, just don't. Stop. Like, those are not nuts. <laughs> They're nutmeg, but fuck you. This one's cheating. Number 10. Peanuts. Really? Here's something that poses no risk to most people, unless they choke on one, but can be absolutely lethal for people who are allergic. Uh, Peanuts is... are one of the most common food allergies known to man, and here's what makes it even saucier, or scarier, sorry. Uh, saucier. I like sauced. <laughs> peanut allergy can develop at any time during your life, even if you never had a single sign of it before. That's why it's best to see your doctor if you ever start showing subtle signs of a peanut allergy, such as experiencing itching around your mouth after eating them. Do you know how many fucking peanuts I eat? Well, if you ever start itching around the mouth. Like I, I eat them like popcorn, dude. Yeah, like I shove fucking peanuts in my mouth like as much as my mouth can hold. Yeah. Shove a lot of nuts <laughs> in your mouth, huh? All the nuts. Cash Whole shell. Cashews and pistachios. <laughs> yeah, dude. Especially like, cashews are the, the pistachios are already shelled and everything. Fuck yeah. Oh fuck yeah, dude. That, that's I'm, just I'm doing work. Just, <laughs> saying, just saying peanuts on there. Just thought of Lou C.K. Of course, but maybe. Of course, anyone with peanut allergies, we need to have them. You know, like no peanuts anywhere near them. But, but maybe. maybe if a nut 
kills you just by touching it, maybe you shouldn't be alive. But <laughs> <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> Broccolini, bitches. Was that the end? That was, that was the end of that one. Okay, so we did one and three. Okay, so you got to keep track. Do we, do we want to do another one? Why not? What's uh, our time on yeah, this one? What, really? what are we looking like? Time. What are we looking like? Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got time for one. Yeah. Time for one and a beer. Time for one and a beer. The long one. Yes, let's do the long one. I don't know what. So doing. I don't have to type that. Yeah. <laughs> we get on email now. Yay! Interesting. Thank you, Alex, for the email. Idea. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so what is this? I can't even read What the restaurants of the future will look like. Hopefully, hopefully the signs don't look like that. Right. Dad, that's hard to read. Oh, crap. This is large. They made the font big enough for Alex to read, but I don't know if this is good enough for... I'm pretty sure you... Maybe we should let Alex read this. I'm pretty sure you could read this from, like, across the... Scroll down! Yes, sir. Evidently, there's nothing. All right, so let's uh, click on another one. But this is not as fun as like <laughs> the, the, this is not as fun as like when it, <laughs> no, no, that wasn't even like in numbered order. Like it no, was just no. going through a there couple things. There we go. Ten items you should never order from the McDonald's menu. Six items, but okay. Okay. Well, I'll go with ten. No fees. <laughs> well, no. When we get to seven, you let me know what you find. All right. So don't order the fish sandwich. What the fuck? Who orders? Why? Is there a fish sandwich on the McDonald's menu? With it is delicious, sir. Do they have a fish fryer? That's what I want to know. Do they have a fish fryer? Shit. It's because of Is there lint. anything like... Uh, it's called an air fryer. I got lint. But, yeah. It's an air fryer. Just put it in there for about 157 minutes. The... All right, so the Popeye's chicken in a fish fryer. I can only imagine what Popeye's fucking french fries would taste like if they... Happen? Do you think they have a separate fryer just for the lowest selling item on their fucking menu? No. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about the Mac rib, which I'm pretty sure that's going to pop it's up on fake. this fucking list. It's fucking fake. All right. The big thing about the fish is that just nobody orders it, so it sits around in a hot, heated window, and you're probably not getting fresh, delicious fish. You're getting not fresh, not delicious. It's a big fish stick. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long can you keep a fish stick hot for? It's not good anymore because that time frame can't When's be. When's the last long. time you had a fish stick? I'm not well, gay. I don't me like and fish my sticks. wife's last anniversary, I gave her about four fish sticks. <laughs> Mac and cheese to go with. I gave her a little bit of tartar sauce too. So. <laughs> All right. So number two, fill in the cannoli. Uh, <laughs> well, healthy. yeah, healthy items on the McDonald's menu. Some of the so-called healthy options aren't necessarily all that healthy, according to employees. Several employees mentioned the high calorie count uh, to Business Insider, and a quick check of the chain's website backs that up. Well, no shit. Salads might seem. I mean, I bacon don't... ranch salad with buttermilk, crispy yeah. cheese. <laughs> no, like if you want to, if you want a salad, get a get a side salad is what they're saying. Like if you start putting chicken and shit on get it, get it from an actual fucking... restaurant. <laughs> The burger salad is delicious. From the Team Facket food truck. Same. <laughs> <laughs> the producer is a big fan. Not really on the menu. Uh, <laughs> number three, sweet drinks. Oh no! Ice cream machines always go. Anytime, well, Goalie. <laughs> my one thing is, what the fuck is that tattoo? Oh, it's, uh, it's Jewish. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know the issues with drinking too much that's, soda. That's, that's, that's Just like you know that. Islamic tattoo, but yeah, that was close. I was in the ballpark. I thought it was some. Anyway, <laughs> Alex, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. We were still in the tattoo. No, he's, he's reading to give us the abbreviated version. Um, enjoy your beverage. I would, what, it's definitely an IPA. I was going to go uh, Amber Ale. Really? Okay, yeah. I don't give a fuck about this. This is just talking about counting calories and sugar. 55 grams of sugar. Yeah, it's just saying that there's a lot of calories. Everyone else's favorite sandwich. Scroll down. Ah, oh, there it is. Do not order the McRib. <laughs> that doesn't even Everyone that, else's it? favorites. <laughs> we know the McRib is a fan favorite, partly because it's only around for a limited time. Anytime it shows up on the McDonald's menu, people can't wait to dig in. But don't expect your local McDonald's employee to be as excited. Some of them can't stand the appearance of the barbecue sandwich, saying, the way it looks before we put the sauce on it is absolutely revolting. It doesn't look like a meal at all. It looks like a scab. Sounds about right. I actually watched... 
like it was like a TikTok video of a McDonald's employee making a McRib, and yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it's wow. a, it's pressed meat into the form of a rib. A rib, yeah. So it's kind of kind of like Jamie Oliver showing not kids. the nuggies. <laughs> Number five, chicken nuggies. Come on, those are some of the best on the market. These little nuggets are a staple on the McDonald's menu, and especially the Happy Meal. The chicken nuggets have been all white meat since 2003. They However, were better before 2003. They're just going on record. People are still <laughs> convinced that there's more to these chicken nuggets than what meets the eye. Or should I say, what... Okay, well, that doesn't make any sense reading it. Continue, <laughs> continue scrolling down. It meets the eye. <laughs> Dooley. Can, can, you, can you continue scroll. scrolling? Thank you. During an Ask Reddit session... User whatever, Defunctron, shared that when he worked at McDonald's and accidentally left a bag of frozen nuggets on the counter all day, when he checked back later that day, the entire thing was a puddle of liquid. It didn't age (laughs) gracefully. (laughs) McDonald's breakfast menu is number six. Just the entire thing? Fuck it. All right. Uh, oh, fucking breakfast. Oh, breakfast. Don't, don't eat breakfast at McDonald's. Okay. We're not saying don't ever order breakfast off the McDonald's menu because uh, the all-day breakfast menu is a good thing. However, if you're keeping an eye out for more nutritious options, avoid these breakfasts. No, no one cares. Okay? That's cool. Which ones? Which one should we... Don't get the hot cake deluxe? Who orders that shit anyway? <laughs> Let's be honest. If you're going to McDonald's for breakfast, oh, number seven. I, I, I love um, McCoffee. McCoffee. <laughs> McCafe. Even though I don't, we just told I don't, you everything not to Number nine. I was going to say, like, <laughs> I don't think that's number seven. That's an ad. That's number nine. Now. You said like, when we get to ten. Now. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. It's you, 100%. you found seven. I'll give you credit. You found seven. It's 100%. <laughs> That word beans. I don't think though. Is that what <laughs> Arabica? Yeah, Arabica. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wasn't gonna try to fuck that up. So I, I don't Arabica think Arabica beans. Like, I don't think seven counts because I bet you they don't serve Keurig Hot McCafe coffee at McDonald's. Yeah, the you don't know that the, the, the machine's broken. You telling me they got a Keurig? <laughs> <laughs> you think they got a Keurig? I mean, then how much coffee are they fucking selling that they're brewing in Big Batch? I, well, it's McDonald's. You're right. Yeah, it's like. Chick fil A's fucking breakfast. Can I get a coffee? Yeah, hold on. Let me get the pot. By the way, I'm if f- you've never gone into a Chick fil A at breakfast time and like sat down and ordered like the fucking platter, you should definitely do that. I finally had Chick fil A for breakfast for the first time in like tw- almost 20 you days definitely years do last that. week. Your wife is getting to you. No, no, no. I did this way a long ass time ago. Like, I just. It was a road trip. I don't wake up till like. 1 or 2 p.m. So It was a road trip, <laughs> and I was looking for something to eat because I'd been up all fucking night driving, and the Chick-fil-A sign, like, on the interstate, like, there's it a Chick-fil-A, two miles, up. and you're like, shit, are they going to be fucking open? It, like, just turned, <laughs> it, like, just turned on, you're like, ha! Ah! I was, like, the first motherfucker in there, and I like, ordered the platter, and, like, you know, the cook in the back is like, this motherfucker, uh-huh. he didn't even get a sandwich? <laughs> Not even fucking I set got, up my station. I got yet. a scramble of fucking eggs right now. Like, <laughs> kind of like when we they were really up. good fucking eggs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like when we pulled up to the McDonald's after the uh, Redskins Patriots game. Oh yeah, and it was all of us, and then you just see the people at McDonald's. Oh, fuck, that's like eight people. Nah, bitch, we're just using the bathroom. We've been on the road for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're not. Here oh, right. thank God. Oh fuck. Still <laughs> said there's free Wi-Fi in here. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Confirmation. All right, let's do this beer. I used to do that all the time on road trips. It's an IPA. I went with IPA too. 6.5, no, yeah, I can 32, and 3. I'm going to go, before I forget, Amber Ale. Stop. Really? Yeah, I'm, he said Amber Ale earlier, and I was like looking at him like, I mean, what kind of has more? Yeah, when we're done. <laughs> Um, Thank you, sir. May I have another? 5.7%. IBU, I'll give it about a 30. And I got a, a 3. It's not bad. <laughs> Your 3 is not bad. Yeah. You gave the fucking seltzer. I'm pretty sure, like, the bacon soda has been rated higher than a bunch <laughs> of this shit, all right? I do not fucking understand that. <laughs> so I'm going to go IPA. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably, I'm going to go seven and a half. 
uh, IBUs, um, 35. I'll give it a four. Like, I could drink this one. I like it. Uh, but it's, it's the initial sip is a little harsh. Yeah. After you get through that one. I am also going to go IPA. That is. You mean not Amber Ale? Nope, not Amber Ale. I'm definitely. Bacon, bacon soda? <laughs> bacon soda. I got a bacon soda. Uh, definitely going to go IPA. I think uh, you're reaching a little bit with the 7.5. I think we're probably going to come in at like 6.8. Uh, I will say the bitterness on the IBUs, though, is probably like fucking 70. Do you think it's that high? I'm, I'm so confused on IBUs that I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Jason, we've been doing this for five seasons. <laughs> and I still don't we, fucking know. None of us know My what the fuck My first sip had like a cringe factor. Yeah, like, like the I, first one like fucking so put I'm me going, back in the I'm chair. I'm going high on the IBUs. Uh, and again, I guess that all depends on the brewer. So. How high are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give it a... Let me, let me do another sip real quick. Not you, Dooley. Words hurt. Okay, it's better on the second time, but I'm I'm gonna give that a three. Is that everybody? Did you ready? That's everybody. You did yours. All right. All right. Survey says. Hinger, ding, 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 ding. This is Stone Tangerine Express Hazy IPA. Oh, it did hazy? not taste like a. Didn't taste like a stone. Like what? Didn't, didn't like taste what? like a tangerine like a what? express. I even like a what? Told you. Uh, stone. So. This is uh, Thursday podcast. Yeah, you can you can, you can re listen to that one later. Hazy IPA Stop. with tangerine and pineapple. It is six point seven percent. Which I think I went six point eight. IBU fifty seven. Fifty seven IBU. Fifty seven. I knew it was up there. You were fucking knew it was up there. I went too high, but still. Yeah. Can I has whole bottle? You can has whole bottle. I would uh, be careful. I I don't know if you're supposed to roll that one before you open it, but it's got some sediment. Oh, that's weird. That's a lot. lot that's, of, is that is that from the tangerine? I don't know. Like the pulp? I haven't had t- the tangerine express in like a fucking year. It is a hazy, so I mean that it doesn't. It's not necessarily wrong. You know what I mean? Does Why that are make you sense? Taking like, my beer away from me? Because <laughs> he's got he's shaking it to make sure that he, I did not know. I did not do the stirring, shaking, well, rolling process. Because he didn't process. know. It's probably better now. Let's just do a last, last minute check. Oh, I stirred the sediment up. You can still see it though. Yeah. I think I mean, there was there was quite a bit. Do you think it's do you think the bitterness comes from the pith? I would say so. I, would you? Would you? Would, would you really? Because pith really? is fucking I'm bitter. Sure. Sure. Yeah, it comes Whereas from the, the Kevin Hart really. Or Kevin oh, Hart. it tastes a lot different. <laughs> what you should. What you it tastes a lot different. Yeah, it tastes a lot different when you stir it up. All right. Well, it's, new new rating. What would you give it? I give it a five. Yeah, you would. <laughs> now so that I, I, I gave it like going. a three, you have a four, a four, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. a four, and it, and it improved after uh, yeah. shaking sediment. Yeah. Okay. Did Did you want to read the? Yeah, sure. Hand it over. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll give it back <laughs> to you. Yeah. Calm. He's you like he's like he's worried. He's worried. Back. He's worried. Like once it comes over here, he's not gonna get any back. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you the first time. Oh, well, uh, I stole it. <laughs> All right, so uh, Stone Tangerine Express Hazy IPA, a tropically hazy IPA with tangerine and pineapple. This creation's uniquely hazy appearance is credit to the glorious whole tangerine puree in every batch. So there you go, tangerine puree. Using the whole fruit allows us to harness every bit of its natural depth and character. Pithy, crisp bitterness complements its distinct juicy citrus. Just the right amount of pineapple, and this being a stone, a whole lot of hops round off this beer in an amazingly hazily citrus E tasty paradise of flavors and aromas. I'm going to go for that last one again. You ready? <laughs> you got this! <laughs> a whole lot of hops Lovely. round off this beer in an amazingly hazily, citrusy, tasty paradise of flavors and aromas. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. applause button? I don't have that. You, we got one. Look at you. You're, that, that's now your job. <laughs> golf clap, golf clap. Golf clap, golf clap. Only the best. So. Damn it. There we go. Found it. It doesn't matter. He's not mm-hmm. ready. Still, yeah, no. still working on it. Titties. No, you got to turn the volume. As I said, it doesn't matter. He's not ready. Uh, he's, got, he's got like three jobs. Four. 
As always, thank you for listening <laughs> to Team Fat Kid Choose the Fat. You can find us on Facebook at Team Fat Kid. On Instagram at Team Fat Kid Nation. On Twitter at Team Fat Kid One. On YouTube at Team Fat Kid. And of course, you can find us online for all of your knife and apparel needs at www.teamfatkidnation.com. You can find our food truck on Instagram at Team Fat Kid Food Truck. Facebook, Team Fat Kid Food Truck. And the Twitter at Fat underscore Truck. Don't forget, you can always call us for your catering needs or your pre orders at 757 427 1586. Remember, stay hungry. Be creative. And don't forget to sharpen your knives. Praise the Lord. Peace, love, and bacon grease. We out this bitch. I'm going to pee in the snow. No joke. Good thing, Mary Jane can play. Stress free. Only way. Life best be.